everyone. I have a book review. I just finished Venus by Jane Feather and I have to say did not like this book. Oh my god. Blech. I can't I can't have words. This story could have been could have been really good but it is done in the year I don't know what the year I'm gonna have to google it after making this video and when I'm editing it I'll google it but it's in the year of Char Charles II? King Charles II of England? It's the year of people wearing powdered wigs and like yeah it's it's not it's a dis like just the, the the court of the king is disgusting I, it's not pleasant you f you can't show affection of love to your partner because it could be used against you and it's just stupidly ridiculous it's it's stupid and so with that time of year you expect them to speak and it's like elizabethan talk so they're talking well it's a it's before Queen Elizabeth, but it's that like time frame era or like it's either before Queen Elizabeth or after Queen Elizabeth. It's that era of speaking. So I understand the speaking parts, of, you know, if they're going to speak like that in that time, time frame. I understand that. But the stupid woman, this stupid woman, yes, I'm saying stupid woman, she writes the non speaking parts like where is it thus it was that when nicholas came hot foot up the stairs into his mistress's apartment he found a cozy scene the the yeah like hot like just it's not one of the best ones but it's that sort of that writing that part of the non-speaking parts that are she incorporates the stupid words in terms of that time in england and it's like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're writing about. I don't know what the fuck these people are thinking or saying because I have no idea what the fuck they're saying because this talk just makes no sense at all. Now, I've read medieval books and I've read like Victorian Regency age and there are some terms that people use that are from that era of time. And it's like, okay, but it's... It's to a point where it's not all that often that I come to a phrase or a word or something like that where it's like, I hate this woman or I hate this person who writes like this. But I don't get that in any of the other, in those books I've read before. But this, holy shit, as I said, this could have been a pretty decent book. But no, this woman has to write this way and confuse the fuck out of me and just, yeah, I do not recommend this book and I'm not going to continue reading this series. This is the first in the series, so that's why I read this. I'm not reading the rest of this series because I do not want to read any more like that because, you know, fuck, just fuck. I'm going to get rid of it. It's going to go bye bye because I don't like it. This is my next book. So Tuesday, today's Sunday, and you know, I go out to breakfast with dad and grandma, and then we go to the library, so we like pick, drop stuff, pick stuff up, and I get that stuff. And when I get home, I get a phone call from the library saying that this is it. And I'm like, why? Why would you do this to me? <sighs> and I was, I was able to get it yesterday with Manny, because he's a really awesome boyfriend. And we went to go do that after we picked up his new tower because he's got a new one. He's got an upgrade. It's so nice. But anyway, this is my next book. This is the first in the series because I have... I have Night Triumph and that is book four in the series. This is the first one. This is an interlibrary loan. See? This thing. This yellow thing. And as you can see, hopefully you can see, it's called Come the Morning by Shannon Drake. And this, as you can see, I hope you can see from the title, from this, this image right here, that it is going to be a medieval story. So this, I expect, you know, people talking like that 
and I've already seen little bits of like the non-speaking parts and th this is a normal good read. This will be a good read. I don't know about story and plot line and all that and the characters and such, but in general, the writing style and the way she's written it should be, you know, good. And um, this, I uh, it's from St. Catherine's Public Library System, which is pretty cool. But I think, you know, they need to redo this because this is not supposed to be unattached from the book. See, there are stickers, you can see, but for some reason somebody cut them. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna have to let them know about that when I get the book so that they can make a note and when they send it back be like, hey, your cover, your book slip, book jacket, that it is, yes, book jacket cover, you know, is not attached to the book. So yeah. And this, I, I, I looked and there's, there's a chronologically, yeah, I don't know if you could actually read that, but it's, there's that. And then there's a preview to another book. I don't know if it's to the series. I think it is because that name is familiar. There's author notes and I'm just going to go find the last chapter because I think it's... I don't know. I'm not going to say 24 chapters. Yes. Yes. So we're, we're 24 chapters, right? Right? Yeah, we're 24 chapters. And this, we've got a prologue. So we've got technically 25 chapters. So I'm going to read this a little information. Hopefully I have enough because I have 8% right now. Ah. From, from award winning author Shannon Drake comes a make. Comes a magnificent new novel, an extraordinary saga rich in the history of 12th century Scotland. Ooh, Scotland! Oh, this is gonna be good because I love Scotland. Come the morning, shimmers with the passions of men and women swept up in the wars of the Highlands, the deadly intrigues of kings, and the ageless yearnings of desire. In the days when Scotland lay under siege from the Vikings who sailed down from north, from the north, and the north. And the Norman, Norman, the Norman English, who brought their armies up from the south, King David sought to unite his people into one nation. For this, he needed loyal warriors who would fight with their blood and hearts. Wark? W-A-R-Y-K. Wark? I think, you know, like war. Yeah, yeah, Wark. It's just a different way of spelling it. De Graham soon provided the greatest of these fighters and was knighted Lord Lyon. With his allegiance sworn to King David, Lord Lyon was destined to live a Scottish chiefman's life. But this honored position came with a price, a wife chosen for him, a reluctant Viking bride. Interesting. I also like Viking type books. I have some, I haven't read them yet, but I like that, I like this, I like this sort of era. Daughter of a Gaelic noblewoman, and a Viking warlord, Meliora, M-E-L-L-Y-O-R-A, Meliora, MacAdden, had an imagination that blazed with dreams of ancient myths and tales of adventure. After her father's death, she ruled her ancestral lands like a Valkyrie, riding the wind, wielding a sword, and bowing to no man. She had already pledged her heart when she received King David's Cree. Mary the Fierce, Lord Lion. Oh, she's already, okay. At the gates of Meliori's fortress, as the gates of her fortress swung open, Lord Lion rode through. He had come to claim his bride, possess her, and beget sons with her. That, that is a weird word, but. Of all this reading, I, that's the first word that makes no sense to me. Meliora had sworn to resist this barbarian nobleman only to find herself slowly becoming an unwilling captive to his compelling power. Soon, she was a woman consumed by desire in a, prim in a primitive highlands invaded by marauders. What? Wait, 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 what? Okay. Uh, Gaelic, I think she would be Irish. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. 
But let's just get this bit. Yet until the mistrust between husband and wife died, love could not be born. And with her loyalties divided, betrayal, even of the man who kept her in his thrall, could still sweep them both into destruction. With her loyalty betrayal. Uh oh. Uh, okay, I'm a little confused, but usually when I read the book, i am become unconfused. Now Meliora must divide, decide where her devotions truly lie, as she discovers the savagery in her own family's blood and the secrets of her husband's heart. Sweeping in scope, meticulously researched and beautifully told, Come the Morning is a majestic and captivating as the land it portrays, master storyteller Shannon Drake brings ancient Scotland vividly to life in this breathtaking tale of splendor and savagery, of legends born and heroes made, and of a temptuous union that will spawn the next legendary Scots clan, the Grahams. Okay, this should be really interesting and I might just be tempted to buy this entire series because I, I love when like a fam you got like a family dynamic like that in a s the series like oh my god this is going to be good so yes this is my next this is my next book and it's it's huge it feels a little weird reading a huge reading this huge book but anyway i don't know if you like i hope you liked this book review it was yeah I did not like that book and I'm very disappointed with it and you know if you liked the video you can hit that like button down there and you can leave your comments about the book Venus by Jane Feather and how you felt about it and we can discuss why you like you may have liked it you may have not liked it and you know my feelings towards it my fit you you know my feelings towards it and just don't be negative don't be nasty because we do not need it in the world okay you know and if this is the first time you're watching my video, please hit that big red subscribe button down there. Buy my picture for more book reviews, hauls, unboxing, unbagging, because something's coming, a bubble wrap vanilla envelope, or a plastic wrap back thing, plastic bag wrap thingy. Vlogmas, random vlogs, and random random videos. I have no idea what to categorize. All right, I gotta go. I got laundry, and this needs to flip and charge because there's like 4% battery on there. Okay, so I will see you all in my next video, which should be a haul video.